हाई फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू शंकर नए स्टडी सर्कल दिस इज डॉक्टर हरिनाथ रेड्डी डायरेक्टर ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूट टूडे इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू रिजॉल्व ए डेड लैक बिटवीन लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली एंड लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल विद रेस्पेक्ट टू एन ऑर्डिनरी बिल एंड यू नो दैट आर्टिकल वन नाट एट Article 108 of the Indian Constitution provides for Article 108 of the Indian Constitution provides for a joint sitting in case of disagreement between Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha so with respect to an ordinary bill with respect to an ordinary bill if there is a disagreement between Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha there is a provision for joint sitting there is a provision for joint sitting and uh, the president will summon the joint sitting the speaker will preside over the joint sitting and the decision will be taken by simple majority but with respect to a money bill lok sabha has got overriding powers with respect to a constitutional amendment bill lok sabha and rajya sabha had equal powers and there is no provision for joint sitting so this is what we have discussed with respect to parliament our question is if there is a disagreement between the lower house and upper house in the states where there is a bicameral state legislature how this a deadlock can be resolved for example in india the following states had got a bicameral state legislature andhra pradesh Telangana Uttar Pradesh Bihar Maharashtra Karnataka Maharashtra Karnataka So these are the six states where the state legislature is bicameral Andhra Pradesh Telangana Uttar Pradesh Bihar Maharashtra and Karnataka so these are the six states where the state legislature is bicameral so in these six states the upper house is called a legislative assembly the lower house is called legislative council the lower house is called legislative council so with respect to an ordinary bill if there is a disagreement between lok sabha with respect to an ordinary bill if there is a disagreement between legislative assembly and the legislative council how the matter is resolved remember in the indian constitution there is no provision for joint sitting in case of deadlock between the legislative assembly and the legislative council then how the matters are resolved for example assume that an ordinary bill is passed by legislative assembly and it was sent to the legislative council so an ordinary bill which is passed by legislative assembly an ordinary bill which is passed by the legislative assembly if it is a transmitted to the upper house that is the legislative council the legislative council can keep it pending for 3 months without taking any decision in the first instance i am repeating an ordinary bill which is passed by the concerned state legislative assembly is transmitted to the legislative council which is the upper house so when this is done the legislative council can keep it pending without taking any decision for 3 months after this 3 months period gets over again the legislative assembly will pass the bill again the legislative assembly will pass that ordinary bill for the second time and then subsequently it will be transmitted to the upper house legislative council so for the second time the legislative council can keep it pending without taking a decision for one more month for one month after this one month period gets over after this one month period gets over the bill is deemed to be passed so that is what is prescribed in the indian constitution i am repeating so with respect to a money bill 
the lower house that is the legislative assembly had overriding powers so we are discussing deadlock with respect to an ordinary bill an ordinary bill which is passed by the legislative assembly if it is a transmitted to the legislative council which is the upper house the legislative council can keep it pending for a maximum period of 3 months without taking any decision in the first instance if the same bill is passed again for the second time by the legislative assembly after a gap of 3 months it will be again transmitted to the upper house that is the legislative council so second time the legislative council can keep it pending for one month without taking any decision after this one month period gets over then the bill is a deemed to be passed in other words the legislative council can delay an ordinary bill for a maximum period of four months or not more than that which means legislative assembly has an upper hand legislative assembly can override the legislative council by pass by passing the ordinary bill for the second time with a gap of 3 months and waiting for one more month so this is not the situation with respect to rajya sabha so rajya sabha which is the upper house in the indian parliament is not a weak chamber so it enjoys almost equal powers with that of lok sabha with the exception of the areas like a confidence no confidence motion that is the removal of the government and with respect to money bill so except with respect to a money bill and the removal of the government in all the other remaining aspects rajya sabha enjoys equal powers like that of the lok sabha in addition rajya sabha enjoys a special powers under article 249 and 312 that we have already discussed unlike rajya sabha legislative council is not an effective chamber legislative council is a weak chamber it is not even a revising chamber it is merely a dilatory chamber dilatory means delay it can only create delay then if this is the situation let us see the alternate situations assume that an ordinary bill you, you all of you know that an ordinary bill can be introduced in the lower house or the upper house if it is introduced in the lower house what will happen i have told in case there is a deadlock assume that an ordinary bill is introduced in the upper house that is the legislative council the legislative council has a given approval to the bill then if it is a transmitted to the lower house that is the legislative assembly if the legislative assembly rejects the ordinary bill then the bill gets killed then the bill gets killed then assume an alternative situation wherein an ordinary bill is passed by legislative assembly it is a transmitted to the upper house that is the legislative council and the council has rejected the bill or the council has proposed amendments which are not acceptable to the legislative assembly then the legislative assembly need not wait for 3 months so if an ordinary bill is rejected by the upper house or if the ordinary bill is a uh, recommended for certain amendments by the legislative council which are not agreeable to the lower house in such a situation without waiting for the 3 months period legislative assembly can pass the bill again for the second time so once it is passed again for the second time again it is a uh, transmitted to the upper house and if the upper house rejects the bill or if the upper house insists on amendments which are not acceptable to the legislative assembly then the bill is a deemed to be passed even without waiting for another one month so this is the third situation so here we can conclude unlike the rajya sabha legislative council which is the upper house at the state level is a weak chamber it is an ineffective chamber and the reasons are very evident in the constituent assembly debates if you see it was felt that it is unnecessary to have an upper house in a state because it imposes unnecessary financial burden on the state exchequer in addition to this it may become barrier for the law making process it may become a barrier for the law making process 
or it may result in an unnecessary delay in the law making process. So there is a reason why the framers of the Indian constitution, the founding fathers of the Indian constitution has conferred the power whether to have a legislative council or not to have a legislative council is conferred on the legislative assembly. So if legislative assembly passes a resolution by a majority of the total strength and also with a majority of the two thirds of the members present and voting that it is necessary to have a legislative council or that it is necessary to abolish an existing legislative council then the parliament through an ordinary law can abolish or create a legislative council. In other words the existence of the legislative council which is the upper house at the state level is at the sweet will of the concerned state legislative assembly. So we cannot equate the position of the legislative council with that of Rajya Sabha. In addition to this, a constitutional amendment bill under article 368 relating to the federal provisions. A constitutional amendment bill under article 368 relating to the federal provisions also need to be passed by the states by the half of the state legislatures. But remember a constitutional amendment bill under article 368 with respect to federal provisions need to be passed by Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha with a special majority. A majority of the total membership plus two thirds of the members present and voting. But a constitutional amendment bill relating to federal provisions need to be passed by at least half of the state legislatures with a simple majority. But here again in the states where there is a bicameral state legislature is it necessary for the constitutional amendment bill to be passed even by the legislative council is the question. So with respect to a constitutional amendment bill in the state legislature the legislative assembly will have an upper hand. The approval of the legislative council is not mandatory. So the legislative council will have no say with respect to a constitutional amendment bill. It is the legislative assembly, it is the opinion of the legislative assembly, it is the approval of the legislative assembly which will have a final say. So that is it about the relative positions of assembly and council at the state level and uh, then the provisions regarding resolving a deadlock between the legislative assembly and the legislative council at the state level in the state legislature. Thank you.